Hey guys, in this video I'm going to introduce you to my microscope. I'm going to take you through all the different parts of the microscope are called and then I'm going to explain to you what all the different parts of the microscope actually do. This is my microscope. Um, I'm incredibly lucky that I have my microscope, I get to play with it. Um, the other fantastic thing my microscope does is that this bit comes off and I can put this bit on. You see this has a phone attachment so I can put that on there. And then when we're doing some practicals you can actually see what I'm doing from the side with this camera and then see what I'm actually seeing when I attach my phone up there um, but in this video I'm going to talk you through all the different parts of the microscope and what they actually do. This here is the eyepiece of the microscope and most microscopes have two different eyepieces or a number of different eyepieces and you'll see they have magnification written on them. So this is a 16 magnifying um, eyepiece and this is a 5 magnifying eyepiece. So when you are working out magnification you not only need to take into account this magnification down here, but the magnification of the eyepiece. And this is the bit that you actually look through when you want to. This is so cool. Um, this is the bit that you actually look through when you want to look at your slides. You'll put your slides on this bit here. This is the stage. And you can see that there's this metal bar here and this metal bar here that moves. That is to keep your slide in place. There is nothing more frustrating than trying to do your required practical, drawing the section that you are looking at, and then your slide moves and you've lost what you were looking at. These two buttons on the side here this one and this one will move the slide around. This one will move it from side to side and this one will move it back and forward. Now some microscopes the slide won't move but the whole stage will move. This is just to make it easier so that you don't have to touch the slide so that you don't potentially contaminate what is ever on the slide or hurt yourself with whatever on the slide. You can move the slide around using these knobs. Down here on the microscope we have a lamp. That is going to allow light to travel upwards through your um, slide which is on here into the eyepiece, into the lens, into the eyepiece so you can actually see what is going on. Some microscopes uh, won't have a lamp down here, they'll have a mirror and you can use that to angle lights, maybe from a ceiling, maybe from a window, so that you can angle the natural light up through, working exactly the same way, but instead of having a lamp that you can turn it on and off, this is just a mirror where you can angle natural light. When the light passes up from here, either the lamp or the mirror, it will go through the slide here and it will go into the objective lenses. This microscope has four objective lenses on it and they are at different magnifications. We have four times, we have a ten times and then we have a forty times as well. And as you turn those around you'll hear a little click as they go into place, in place. Now when you're trying to find you, your slide, when you're trying to find something to look at, you'll start with your four times magnification once you've found something interesting. You'll move up to a 10 times magnification and then you can move up to a 40 times magnification to a really good look at your specimen. At the side here there's two focusing dials. This big one is the coarse focusing dial and the small one is the fine focusing dial. And as you move these the stage will move up and down. The coarse focus will move it in quite big chunks quite quickly. Whereas the fine focus will move it very very small chunks very slowly. So when you put a slide on, you can start off by using the coarse focus to get it in fo into general focus and then the fine focus to actually focus in and see what you are looking at. When you actually want to look at the slide, you can take your slide, put it into the clips. You can then move the slide around so that the sample you're actually wanting to look at is 
on top of the circle in between the, the light source and the eyepiece. You're going to want to start with your lowest objective, so the four times objective, and you're going to want to have that quite high up towards it so you can actually see what's going on. You can then look through the eyepiece, focus it, and then change it to a 10 times objective, adjust the focus ever so slightly, change it to a 40 times objective, and I know that feels really close, and adjust it so you can see what is going on. I'm gonna do a much more detailed video of me actually doing this when I go through the practicals. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.